once again we come here to the Australia House uh, where the Ambassador George Brandis still refuses to give any relief or help to Julian Assange an Australian citizen arbitrarily arrested and held for the US prosecutors in their hopes of extraditing Julian Assange to the US of A. And today we're going to raise the protest here with everyone who's come along today to Australia House to mark the uh, 10 years since the uh, arbitrary arrest of Julian Assange on Monday uh, when we were at the Home Office and here today at the Australia House to bring to the attention of George Brandis that we demand freedom for well, Julian, Julian Assange. Assange. Yeah, yeah. Would you like Me to too. say a few words, Guillermo? Yes, I, I want uh, freedom for Julian Assange because uh, he has committed crimes. Only he denounced the crimes of the big guns, killing people in the poor countries like Afghanistan and like uh, Iraq. Which I condemn that. Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah. And that is the word on the street is that Julian Assange has been arbitrarily arrested and he's being held to account for publishing evidence of the war crimes without the war crimes themselves being investigated and punished for those who have participated in the crimes against yes. humanity, including the past political leaders of this country for the past 20 years, and recently the, uh, the Boris Johnson administration who have been fully cooperating with the US of A um, since his election last year and after a year of the Johnson uh, junta in the uh, Whitehall we found that we've had no comment or help for Julian Assange from anyone in the Johnson government and no doubt this will be reflected in the Sakia Starmer uh, Slave Labour Party. No. Thank you. It's on the street, on the beat, outside the house. That is Australia, outside the HQ of His Excellency Ambassador George Brandis.